Okay, so we're going to create our program at this point. So the first thing we need to do is decide what time do we want our lights to come on at. So we can grab this lighting bar, slide it over, and let's have them come on around 9 o'clock in the morning. So we get to 9 o'clock. When you get close, you can use the little buttons, the carrots on each side, to bring it in. Now we're at 9 o'clock. At that point, I want to set a timing interval, so I hit plus, and it's saying, at 9 o'clock, what do you want to do? Well, notice right now, from 0 to 9, it's creating a ramp to 100%. And that's not what I want to do, because we're not going to start at midnight. So I'm going to take all of these to 0. And you can see, as I change them, the preview curve changes as well. So it's really cool in terms of being able to see exactly what you're doing. So at this point, I'm just setting my zero point, saying I'm starting at 9 in the morning. I'm then going to go back, and now I'm going to say, okay, well, I want to ramp from 9 till, uh, let's say, 1 o'clock with the blue channel. So now I can slide this over, and I'm going to go to 1 o'clock, which this is military time, so 1,300. Now we're there. We're going to hit plus to add another one. And now if you notice... We're starting at 9, we're running right to 100%. So now I'll decide on these four channels, what do I want? So I'm just going to do some random stuff here. So we're going to turn off the white channel, turn off the warmth, we're going to leave blue, and we're going to peak blue at 70%, and we're going to peak UV at 100%. Now if you notice, see those two curves, that's UV and that's the blue. So I can now immediately see exactly what I'm doing, and all I have to do is hit the back arrow. And now look, my program's starting. And so let's say I want to, at this point, um, start ramping the white channel. So we're going to start ramping the white channel, let's say, at 11 o'clock. Now, here's what's interesting. If you look at my levels, right now I'm at, at basically 0 and 0 for the white and the warmth channels. I'm at 36 and 50 at this point for the other two. So I need to remember 36 and 50. So I'm going to hit add. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one to 36. I'm going to set this one to 50. And if they're off by percent, it's no big deal. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ramping my next channel. So it's important at this point that I say zero and zero again, because if I don't, it's going to ramp from the previous spot. So now I hit back. So this is now where I'm going to start ramping to the next point. So now I'm gonna move this over and let's say at three o'clock. I wanna finish my ramp on the way up at this point. I've already peaked on these two channels. So now I'm gonna ramp the next two channels up. And again, just like last time, I want to look at where I'm at. So right now, I'm at 58 and 82. So remember, 58 and 82. I'm going to hit plus. Take these to 58, 82. And then I'm going to decide where do I want to peek out my white channel, let's say at 40%. And my warmth I want at the same, 40% roughly. And if I now hit back, now you can see those two channels are ramping, starting at the zero point I set, up to that point. I can now basically run these across and repeat the process at the end of the day. So instead of programming 42-odd points that we were doing with the old app, you're now simply programming a zero. First point of ramp for whatever channels you want to ramp. Another zero plus wherever these channels currently are at. And then you're going to program the peak for the other two, plus wherever these channels were already at. If I want to add a, another to make my bike ramp look, I can add one more. So let's just take everything out to, let's say here. And I want to know what were the levels I was at. Well, let's go back here and look. I peaked at 71% and 100%. And then on these two, I peaked at 42 and 40. So if I just remember... 72, 100, and then roughly 43 and 41. So now I can come over here and go ahead and set another point. 
And now I got to remember where my points were. So I remembered that I was at 70, 73. Let me grab it. There we go. 100. And then these were both around 42, give or take. And now if I hit back, so now I've created my ramp down at the end. Now if you notice, this point here, I messed that up a little bit. That should actually be higher at that point because I'm already starting to ramp down. So I can go back to that point and I can edit it and change that back to what I want it to actually be. So. And you can actually see in the diagram where it's at. So it's actually fairly easy. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm changing the shape literally right in here. So I can pick whatever spot I want this to be at for any of these to make that ramp completely flat. All right, so I backed up just a little bit to show a little better on how to do this. So when you line up this bar on one of your previous points, you'll notice this icon up here, which is edit. And now it brings it back to where it's currently at, and I just have to change where I messed up, which was bringing this up to 73, and this one up to 100. And then hit back, and now I'm starting to get my bike ramp shape a little bit better the way it's supposed to be. Now I can add in another point. So remember I'm at 70, well, 73, 100. Actually, I can even edit that because I was too high on this one. I'll bring this down to 73. And hit back. There we go. Now we're a little flatter. So I'm 100%, 73, 42, 42. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to set the next one. Hit plus. And I'm going to set 73. I'm going to set 100. Bring this one down to 42. And 42. And then hit back. And now I've got my bike ramp. Now, I could go in and add more points if I wanted my blues to come down after my white. So I'm just showing a quick example of how to make this work so that the blues ran longer. So if I wanted to do that, I would simply pull this over, look at where my levels were. Remember I was at 73 and 100. I want to leave these levels exactly where they're at, which is, again, looking up here, about 25% on both. So I just hit add another point. Take these down to 25, and remember this is 77, 73 I should say, and this one's 100, and this one's going to go down to 25, close enough, hit back, and so you notice the ramp on white starts before the ramp on blue starts. They are finishing together. So if I really wanted to get crazy, I can bring this over one more time. Look at my levels. And I'm at 41.56 for my blue and UV. Hit add. Take the first two channels all the way to zero. And then I think it was at 23 and 56. Let me see. And now I've taken the white channel to zero and over. I mixed up this number just a little. Notice that the, the slope isn't even. So I can just go back to edit. And watching the diagram on the other side, I can actually bring it up until its slope is correct. And then hit back. And now I've got my ramp done. So you can get as complicated as you want, or you can be as simple as you want. But at the bare minimum, you're going to set one point for zero. You're going to set one peak ramp, one end of ramp, and then zero is already set for you uh, based on what time of night you want it to stop at. Now, the last point that you're going to set on any of these would be um, an all zero. So you have to start with an all zero, end with an all zero. So at this point, I'm just going to take them all, all to zero, hit back, and now we have a full ramp. So again, just real quick how to set the ramp. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, send us an email through the website link or you can call our office. You can post to the Reflight Support Group. There may be someone there, uh, usually customers that have already done something, will have a clue and help you out. We do get on there once in a while, although not every day. Uh, you can send messages through our Facebook page, but again, we're not on there every day. We try to, but 
Uh, social media is just not a luxury we can get on every day when we're shipping so many lights and trying to develop new product. But the email system works really well, so does the phone. And if you guys have any other questions, just give us a yell. Thanks.